it's human nature to look for purpose or an answer in, in everything. And I think it's uncomfortable to accept purposelessness. I think I'm constantly trying to find some sort of truth or reality and it does make you question this thing that we all kind of rest upon, which is this searching for a reason. I guess I'm always functioning in almost a schizophrenic form where I'm thinking about the content but I'm simultaneously thinking about making a very seductive and effective image and I often fail but the image can teeter into this realm of abstraction and then the text grabs the dream and brings you back into some sort of fixed definition that I'm constructing. The Innocence documents cases of wrongful conviction throughout the United States and photography's use in the criminal justice system. An image is presented to a victim of a crime and it replaces the memory of the actual perpetrator if there ever was one. And this whole idea about how photography could lead to someone's death on death row seemed to me this kind of perfect microcosm to look at the danger in the ambiguity of photography. American Index was in response to September 11th in many ways. The government and American media were so interested in finding secret sites beyond our borders. And during that time, I wanted to look inward at what was hidden and outside of popular consciousness within American borders. Contraband, before I started, I was imagining what I would end up documenting, heroin and guns and all sorts of very evident threats. And in the end, what it ended up being was a massive pile of counterfeit goods. And it was everybody chasing the same dream, this universal desire for the same brand, the same luxury item. And you just got this sense of a kind of flattening of desire. Works in a Living Man Declared Dead and other chapters are comprised of three segments. The portrait panel is where I systematically order the members of a given bloodline. The text panel is where I present almost census-like information about all the individuals I photographed. And then in what I call the footnote panel, there are these more kind of abstract images and fragments of the stories. And the imagination in all of that was the way in which blood is so ordered and determined that perhaps the chaos that surrounds us and all the violent stories of survival in the world, perhaps that itself is patterned as well. I think because of the subject matter that I'm documenting, there is this want to see expressions of pain or anguish or to see some sort of deeper, warmer, more intimate, perhaps sympathetic view. And I purposefully steer clear of all of that to create this very uncomfortable engagement for the audience with that which they're looking at. And it also creates a certain understanding of a distance between the photographer and, and the subject where it's clearly stating I'm coming from a position of not knowing what that situation is like and the audience as well. The more time I spend as a photographer, the less interested I am in the medium. So there's definitely this evolution through the projects in which I'm kind of shedding aesthetic embellishment, whether it be through, through lighting or color or these narrative scenarios, and it just seems to get more and more bare. It's still using photography, but in this, in this very different form. And I think the way in which my generation works is very interdisciplinary. People are working in all different mediums and in all different directions. 
and new forms as well. And uh, at best, I would hope that it bridges a lot of these things and enters into a different territory. Mm -hmm.